you know what? It's amazing what you can do with a 3D printer, some Christmas lights and an old plank. I'm not on about me. I'm Greg and this is PropWorks. Hello and welcome to PropWorks. So today, I've got a little unboxing video here. Um, this could be the new budget all-in-one. Could be. Until I do the build I won't know, but I've never had one of these before, so um, yeah. Do you want to unwrap it with me? Come on. Let's go over to the bench and take a look. Okay, so moving on to the bench. Um, what I've got here is the Hi-Fi on RC 25 amp all-in-one whoop sized flight controller. Now, it has to be said that my undisputed champion for a very, very long time for sort of a, an option in flight controllers is the 20 by 20 Mamba stack. And you, know, you can pick these up for £29 from Banggood and often cheaper than that if you're doing a special deal. But this this has come along and um, you know I've already previously built um, my Uma and I've got another one planned with some more powerful motors uh, which I'm planning to do for the channel but uh, Banggood haven't yet delivered me the motors so I thought I'd unpack this now what makes this special over something like a 20 by 20 stack and okay slightly different horses in the fact that this is a 20 by 20 stack and this is an all-in-one whoop sized uh, flight controller and ESC all in one but what's special here is that this says it's an F7 now this of course is an F4 so there's various things there's uh, that make it good one of the things is the fact it's connectivity uh, is the fact that you haven't got to worry about inverted and non-inverted uh, connections so without ado let's get to opening it I'll try not to hack my fingers to pieces as I do it. A bit fumbly bumbly. There we go. So let's take a look inside and what we got. Okay, well, it really is um, bare minimum. Absolutely bare minimum. So let's uh, take this open. A nice score in my map. Let's see what we get with it. So. So the contents are really, really simple. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the flight controller. Now, um, I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, yeah, it seems to be nice and tidy. Um, we'll soon see about filtration. I mean, you've got quite a few um, bits going on here. And for this size of board, I wouldn't expect masses of filtration. And at the end of the day also, they're sticking rather a large uh, 35 volt uh, Sanyo. Sanyo? Yeah, Sanyo. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably swap that out for a Rubicon or a Panasonic, but yeah, got a, a decent sized uh, capacitor in there. The board itself, well, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks tidy. Um, the work is clean and it's, as I said, it's that F7 that's really the sort of star of the show here now i've checked it out this potentially should be able to be flashed with the the jazz Ma jazz maverick firmware and um yeah i'll probably be doing that and taking advantage of the f7 processing speed and power to uh, use that for um, bi-directional filtering um standard set of gummies and a bit of what, what, uh, let's just put my glasses on we got as far as a cable is concerned that is 18 18 awg wire so although the package itself is you know min minimalist it uh, contains everything you'd want uh, yeah so this could potentially make for quite a powerful little uh, flight controller there we go let's get that under there so we've got uh, various connections on board just as a quick glance Got our standard motor outputs one two three and four 
Um, this side we've got LED 3.3 uh, ground 5 volt RX2, TX2, RX, TX1 and RX1 5 volt and ground. Across the top we have uh, TX4, RX4 ground 5 volt um, TX and RX or uh, could be I'd need to look on the I can't quite make those out under there and then we've got TX3 RX and um, buzzer plus and minus and then coming around to this side we're looking at this and we've got uh, video in once again plus 5 volt and ground so it's not short of a few connections to so yeah I'm gonna utilize this and make it go for what it's worth and the actual processor looking at it is an arm STM32 F722 so yeah you know, it seems to all be uh, shouting out, right? So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing. Just as a, a little addition and something that I missed earlier in the video, um, I just want to add that this flight controller, when I bought it, was just over £33. Uh, I had to pay for carriage as well, but at £33 for uh, an F7 all-in-one 25-amp flight controller. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm looking forward to the bill. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm thing. In the meantime, stay safe and happy flying.